Welcome to the Thrive Kitchen. Another great recipe for you. This is a beef teriyaki slider. What a great way to kick off the summer with some nice slider options for you. And this method we're gonna use today is marinating. We're gonna start with our premium freeze-dried beef. So we're gonna add three, uh, four cups of beef and then we're gonna add our delicious freeze-dried onion strips and our green bell peppers freeze-dried, our freeze-dried Thrive red bell peppers, our Thrive green onions, a little bit of pepper flake for a little, little turn-me-up heat, little kick. This is our honey crystals, Thrive honey crystals. All right, throw your honey right in there. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of garlic. We're gonna add our freeze-dried pineapples. Try to get these to get in the bowl. Oftentimes at my house, they don't even last. They, get, they don't even go make it to the recipe. The kids just gobble those up. All right, so we have all of our ingredients in there. Now what, now what do we do? Well, let's sweeten it up with some brown sugar. Remember, this is teriyaki, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna switch bowls actually. It's gonna be pretty, pretty uh, sweet and delicious. And then you gotta have that wonderful umami, that, that salt content that we're gonna add using soy sauce. So we're gonna pour our soy sauce right in there, right in there with the beef. And then we're gonna take our water, which we've tested the recipe, we know exactly about how much water you're gonna need to make this perfect and make it yet still a little saucy once we cook it. So now you wanna bring all of these ingredients together and allow this to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just bring all those flavors together. Now you're not just adding water, you're actually have a delicious, flavorful liquid that all these ingredients are soaking in. We're gonna take a little bit of our Thrive Spice, sprinkle it on there. We're gonna take a little bit of uh, powdered ginger, give it a little turn up as well. So that's gonna make it really flavorful. And then one last ingredient, rice wine vinegar, that's gonna give it a little bit of zing. You can just cover that with plastic wrap. Just let it sit and give it a stir about every couple minutes so everything kind of rehydrates evenly. But that's marinating, okay? You could do that with chicken, you can do that with ground beef, for your tacos, whatever you want, but that's a delicious way to go. While this delicious teriyaki beef, pineapple, fried freeze-dried peppers is smelling up the entire kitchen, you're gonna wanna make your slaw. So this slaw is, is the sauce is something else. It's regular cabbage, grocery store, the stuff that's gonna rot in your fridge, okay? And carrots, basic slaw, two components. But the rest has a little Thrive offering for you, okay? We're gonna use our Greek yogurt bites, our pineapple that's been reconstituted, crushed and reconstituted, freeze-dried pineapple, um, some of our Thrive sugar, Thrive salt, Thrive Chef's Choice Blend Seasoning, and Thrive Green Onions. That's gonna help make this delicious sauce. So now we're gonna just go to the blender, put our freeze-dried Greek yogurt bites in, with our sugar, with our salt, with our Thrive Chef's Choice All-Purpose Blend Seasoning, okay? And then we're gonna add a third cup of water, and Rice wine vinegar, a fourth a cup. Oh dear. Push go. That easy, you have a delicious dressing to go right over that cabbage. Add your green onions, your freeze-dried pineapple that we've crushed lightly and reconstituted, and that's gonna make your slaw base. Mix that up, that can marinate now while you start cooking the teriyaki beef. Now, start with a hot pan. When you cook the teriyaki beef, you're gonna start with, with a very hot pan, preheated, get the Thrive Sizzle going. 
Okay, that's gonna come up. While that comes up, we're going to take a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of water. And just mix that in together to make a slurry. And this is what we'll thicken this with. Because you want to get it thick so the sauce kind of sticks to that beef. So when you put it on your bun, it's just delicious. Okay, mixed all well. Once this comes to a simmer, go ahead and add your, your cornstarch and water slurry. And then we want to simmer this down until basically it's sticky and gooey and ready to go on our bun. Okay, you can see now that, that teriyaki is really tightened up nicely and yet it's still very, very saucy and delicious. Oh, baby, that is gonna be perfect. All right, so, you know, you can buy convenient rolls from the store, that's great, but I seriously suggest using our bakery white bread mix, white country bread mix. So just take a little bit of your, about a fourth a cup of our teriyaki, delicious, one pot, beautiful cooked meal. Put it right in between your, your buns. And once you get the teriyaki on the bun, you can top it with pretty much any garnish that you want. I like to just put on, of course, our delicious coleslaw that we've made. This is gonna give you crunch. This is gonna give you a little refreshment. Remember, soy sauce is a little salty. Not saying that this is really salty, but this delicious, sweet, tangy coleslaw is gonna help cut that. And then I think a little bit of fresh cilantro treats it really well, good as well. And a little fresh vegetable chip from the pantry. You got yourself a sweet little meal made for a king. That's done in 20 to 30 minutes at the very most 30 minutes. Summer little treat, but anytime little treat. And who says Thrive doesn't have sandwiches? Are you kidding me? We have beef, we have chicken, we have hamburger. We have all kinds of options for sandwiches. Wait till our next video. I got another idea coming your way. First, enjoy this delicious teriyaki beef slider.